Hey family, welcome back to the Brandon Bruce channel. I just wanted to sit down with you guys and talk about my 30 day review with Martin Transport. Let's talk about it, let's do it. All right, so you guys, if you have been following my journey, I really appreciate it. Thank you so much for following my trucking journey. Um, thank you for encouraging me. Thank you for your insight. Thank you for the love you've shown. And I don't know if you know, it's like, uh, I think it's seven months, going on eight months since I've been driving. Driving experience is like seven, eight months. We're almost to a year. We're almost there. But uh, yeah, so what I want to talk about is Martin Transport. Uh, I did record some stuff in my hotel room when I was doing orientation and um, just to give some insight. I think I'm going to pull those videos together and do a video about onboarding. But just to give you a quick review, um, when I applied to Martin, I applied. I'll give you well, I'm gonna give you that story. When I applied to Martin, I actually applied when I only had like four months in on experience. And I applied one night and the recruiter called me and said, you sang, you seem like an amazing candidate, but I need you to stay at rail. Stay at rail until you get six months. He was like, he actually gave me a date. He said, call me Feb the week of February, the second week of February. And so before Fe when that week came, before I could call, he called me. He said, hey, you still available? You still looking? And I said, yeah, yeah. So we did all the uh, preliminary stuff application i had to do another one did all of that and then we did we found out that i was shy like of a week and a half and so i didn't pull the plug on rail i waited until i knew i got the green light i i needed to have the offer ladder i needed to have the plane ticket the bus ticket i needed all of that before i said i'm done so uh so even in, even in that i just knew god was in it because at that time that we were talking about different fleets, uh, when I came to Martin, I asked and said, hey, I don't mind being regional. And uh, I said, well, I, I'm, I've i been driving regional reefer. If you got that, I'll do it. Because I'm just thinking like, it's the, it's the I'll do the same thing. Cool, be home on the weekend. But and then I start asking about, I said, you got dedicated accounts. What dedicated accounts you got available? I said, I know I see Walmart. How I get on that? And so they didn't have a regional one. They had 14 days out. So, and I think it was national, which wasn't bad, but I'm not trying to do over the road, y'all. I'm not, I'm really not. I'm getting too old for that. <laughs> but so I, he, he told me about that. And then I said, okay, yeah, I guess regional. And then he said, wait, hold on. I got something else, but this one is a little different. I said, okay. So he starts telling me about this dedicated account. And he tells me this last part. He says, you can come home every day. That's all I needed to hear. And I said, put me on that. So we did that. And then we find out that I didn't have a full six months. So he called me, was like, yeah, we need you to stay there a little longer. So I stayed there like another week and a half. And then on, I think Thursday, I hit him up. I said, okay. What is it looking like? Do I have all the time? Because I seen I had all the time. But I'm like, do I have all the time? And so he was like, yes. We want you. Come here. So that's when I got the offer ladder. I got all of this stuff. Got all of that. And um, like I, this happened very fast when I got in there. I left rail. Turned my truck in on Friday. No, I actually just parked on Friday. I was going home for the weekend. And... Asked if they had any other loads. They was like, nah, that's it. Go home. Cool. Friday. Saturday, I emailed them and then I called them. No, I emailed and they called me. My fleet manager called me like in five within five minutes. And um, that happened. And then Monday, I took a train to get to Indianapolis. Took a train and bus. So I didn't have like a lot of... I didn't wait a week or two or whatever because I was just like, nah, I want to work and y'all got this opportunity. Let's do it. So I got there. Orientation started on Tuesday. Actually, let me back up. I was actually supposed to be there that Sunday. 
And I just knew that my plane, train ticket, not plane, my train ticket said that I was supposed to be there on Monday. So they had me leaving Union Station, downtown Chicago. And I took the South Shore from Gary to get down there on Monday. And I'm just walking with my suitcase. And I'm just like, yeah, okay. And I, he, get, he calls me. My recruiter calls me. He was like, you were supposed to be here yesterday because orientation is supposed to start today. I was just like, oh, no. So I'm sitting on the phone, like, apologizing because I'm just like, I right, dang, so does this mean I go home? Or he was like, nah. He was like, uh, yeah, let me see. Can you? So he was like, so you're in Chicago now, like a Union Station? I said, yeah. He was like, all right, let me see. Can I get you on the next train? So he did that. He sent me the ticket. The next train was like within an hour and a half. And I was just like, cool. Got on that train, got there. I got there like at seven that night because it's a train. Then I had a layover for a bus. And it was a lot, but I was just like, whatever. I just made the best of it. I'll post. Uh, <laughs> I took myself to a Mexican restaurant. I'm going to post that right here. But yeah, y'all. So I got there, did orientation on Tuesday. They had someone pick you pick. First of all, they had someone pick you up from the train station. No, from the bus station. Bus station, train station. I think it's the same. But they had somebody pick you up from the bus station to take you to the hotel. They put you in a hotel. Um, put you in a hotel. I stayed there that night. Have somebody pick you up and take you to the terminal. Then you start onboarding. I did all my onboarding probably on that day. I was the only person in the class that day because somebody else didn't show up. And then I think one guy, he was supposed to be there, but he was coming the next day. So I got all the attention from the instructor, from everybody. So I did all my stuff that same day. I did the road test, the backing test. I did uh, like all the onboarding. I almost finished like all the actual orientation tutorial videos. Y'all know when you go to a trucking company, you got to do all those videos, the safety videos, this video, that video. You got to learn how Martin does things. You got to learn how that specific company does things. So I think I did, I finished mine on Wednesday. I had all my videos done Wednesday. And I think I actually was supposed to leave Wednesday, but I don't think they had a truck available. So I stayed another day. And then Thursday, they gave me a rental because the truck was actually here in Chicago. So they gave me a rental car to drive from Indianapolis, Zionsville to Chicago. And then they gave me a Lyft or Uber to go pick the truck up. And then I finally brought the truck home. <laughs> That's a lot. But they were paying me like a $400 bonus for finishing orientation to get the truck. And to start driving to get your first load or be on your assignment. I'm like, yeah, I do that for $400. So, yeah, like... That's that was the onboarding. Like I said, I'll go more in depth. I do a whole video of the onboarding process and be a little bit more detailed. But I just wanted to give an overview of that because I know you guys been following my journey. I know when I started at Rail, I did it from step by step by step because it was new to me. And now this is not. This is kind of like, oh, okay, yeah, y'all don't seen that before, but maybe y'all haven't. So I'll still give you guys those details. All right, so. How I feel about them after 30 days. After 30 days, I actually feel good. I I like my job. I, I like the company. I like the culture. Uh, I know y'all want to know about this. Let's talk about the money. The money has been good. Uh, I don't have any complaints. They do have a 1400 minimum guarantee that you get weekly. Uh, there are some things that you have to hit. Uh, for me, because I'm on a dedicated local fleet, is a little different. Uh, more, uh, the overroad people and regional people, um, they have to be on time. Uh, you have to scan in your documents in a timely fashion, all that kind of stuff. But for me, this account that I'm on, we do paperless. So they pull from that one system and put it in their workflow. So I don't have to scan any documents. Not only that, we don't have timed loads. Once the load is sitting there ready we pick it up and take it to the place so it's not like oh yeah we got an appointment or we got a live load or a live unload that's not how this works these are all dropping hooks so um oh and then minimally i have to work eight days no eight hours in a day if i don't work eight hours in a day then yeah i could lose the minimum pay how hard is it to work eight hours in the truck it's not hard at all 
Um, and then I have to work five days. I have to work all my five days. My schedule is from Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. Now, here's another thing that I do like. I am able to take a weekend off if I want. I just need to work my off days. So if I work Tuesday, Wednesday next week and tell them I need to take Saturday and Sunday off, I can. They told me that coming in the gate. So I do like the ability of that and to know that I'm not like, dang, I got to wait a year or I got to wait this long until I can get some PTO. I think you start getting PTO at six months, if I'm not correct. I think it starts at six months and then at a year. I think it's three days at six months and three more days at a year, something like that. But with the flexibility of you to play with your off days like that, you can say that PTO for something else. All right. So um, they have downtime pay. Anytime I'm waiting, if I get to the plan and there's not a load, I'm getting paid. It starts at $20 an hour. If I'm broken down, like if, there, if I have a trailer tie that needs to be fixed, an air leak or something, me waiting for a mechanic, I start getting paid $25 an hour. And uh, yeah, so, and I get paid by the load. I'm not paid by the mile because I'm not even driving that many miles. I think I drive like 300 miles a day, but I'm paid by the load. So if I want to make more money, I do more loads. I can go past my eight hour mark of hours in a day or whatever. I can work up to 12 hours. So if I want to work all up to 12 hours to get all them loads, I can. Or if I want to be like, you know what? This traffic has been bugging me and I got three loads and that's all I'm doing today. I could go home. I have that ability and I can control that. So I really like that because I can control my money and I can control my time. That's what I really like. Because you guys know in trucking, sometimes you are at the mercy of the dispatcher. You are at the mercy of the planners. If they give you a load, if they don't give you a load. If they don't give you one and you stuck somewhere, you got to be there until they give you a load. So I am not in that arena anymore. I'm grateful for where I am. Because a lot of, I'm, I don't know if y'all know, but there's other things I want to do besides trucking. Like... I'm a whole musician, like I want I miss playing, I want to get back to teaching, and I can do those things and still do trucking. Uh what else? Let's talk about management. Management is pretty cool. I have two fleet managers. My fleet managers are on site, and I have seen and met both of them. They're pretty decent people, haven't had any issues with them. If I need to call them, they answer the phone. If I message them, they message me back. So I haven't had anything like that, like, oh, I can't get in contact with them or they're not available or they don't want to talk. Nothing like that. Um, let's talk about the equipment. Equipment is fairly decent. I wish I had a newer truck, but I just got spoiled when I had a brand new truck. Yeah, I was spoiled because I was the only first person to drive it. And um, I remember, I, I think I had it like at 52 miles, 57 and when I left, I think it had maybe almost 30,000 miles. No, it probably had like 20 something. But yeah, I miss Ruby. But yeah, and as far as trailers, when it comes to a company, you know, some, every company, I know every company has an old, old trailer, but it's, it depends on how well it's kept. Like you do those PMs on those trailers, you, it, and then a lot of that responsibility is on the driver too. Like tell them, hey, these tires don't look good. Send them pictures in so they can know, like, okay, we got to fix them tires. Because if you don't say nothing, they not going to know. They not going to know. So, yeah, equipment is good. Um, I just wish I had a newer truck, but the truck I have, AC works, heat works, everything works on it. And um, it gets the job done. First impressions, when I did hit 30 days my uh, recruiter, he called me and was like, happy 30 days. And I was just like, oh, thank you. Appreciate that. So that kind of made me feel good. That made me feel welcome and appreciated because, you know, like I am a part of the team and we want you to know that. He also said that he's heard nothing but good stuff from my fleet manager. So that made me feel good. And that made me want to come in tomorrow. Like, y'all need me to come in right now? I can do it now. Like, that's how I felt. And that's how I feel now. Like, any extra thing they say, hey, can you go do this? Yeah, I wouldn't mind doing it because I don't feel like I'm getting, like, I, I feel like I, I get compensated well and 
they're not trying to shortchange me or make me feel like a child or make me feel like a like oh no you're enslaved to us no they're like you're a real person and that's how we treat you so i do like that i have not had any run-ins with anybody or anything even the co-workers actually the co-workers the other drivers they're friendly they say hey well i, I had a guy blowing down blowing um behind me he got on the side of me he was like hey welcome to the team and I'm just like, oh, he's very friendly or whatever. So, uh, uh, yeah, so that was pretty cool. And I've like got phone numbers from all the other drivers. They put me in a group chat. They'd be like, hey, so you can know what's going on so we can keep you on the know or whatever. Now, I ain't saying everything is perfect because, you know, there are people who like to just gossip. You got people at the job. They just complain about every little thing. But me coming in here, I'm like, this is a blessing. And some of them probably looking like, ugh. They just keep taking our money. They keep doing this. I'm just like, it's working for me. And that's the thing about trucking. Like, you have to find what works for you. Uh, you have to find your journey. You have to find what matters to you. And, like, for some people, they don't mind making a lower wage. But um, they might have a job and they might have a team of management that treat them like gold. And so that might be the thing. They might say, hey, I feel noticed. So I don't mind like when they say freight is low and I okay, I'll just go with it. But then you got other people that's like, no, I'm all about my money and I don't care. So you gotta find what works for you. So I am very happy at Martin. Um, yeah, and I don't plan on going anywhere. And, and I really what I really like about it is that it seems like they have a lot of things that I I could venture into. Like if I woke up one day and said, Okay, put me I wanna be regional. Because they have all these dedicated accounts. It seems like they have the work. That's what I've noticed. So uh, I think I am in a good place. And I just want to see what happens maybe in the next 90 days. We'll see. I'll give another video. Give you guys another update of where things are at. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions about Martin Transport, trucking, even rail. I'm still getting questions and emails about rail and stuff. So I'm here. Let me know. I hope you guys are blessed and I pray that you are safe as well. Thank you for watching.